Briggs. This looks like the uh, part four to the archives of Dr. Gorfesto, and I'd just like to say, uh, you know, thank you all so much for watching my three other videos. I mean, you know, because since they were just, you know, all my bad drawings and stuff from the past and everything, I thought nobody was going to, you know, watch them, but, you know, I was pretty surprised. Because, <laughs> um, well, I kind of wanted to show those was because, uh, you know, I've been asking in the past, you know, how did I get so, you know, good at this kind of thing, you know. I kind of wanted to show that, uh, you know, even, even if, if you want to be an artist, you know, you have to sort of, you know, uh, sort of go with uh, the bad with the good half the time. I mean, if you've seen my artwork, I mean, it, yeah, I was striving to be pretty bad, but... Um, but half the time I was trying to do something good, but most of the time it just came out bad, so, you know. And, uh, become a good artist, you have to, you know, really draw a lot, you know, draw everything. You know, stuff and this thing over here, this was actually pretty good, and I did this when I was 15, but, you know, <clears throat> this was the first time I ever used a ruler. I think it sort of helped me out, but... Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just very important that if you want to become an artist, you really have to, uh, you know, settle the bad with the good half the time. You might have, like, you know, three good drawings out of, uh, you know, a million other bad doodles. <laughs> but that's the that's the best part of the, the artist's job, is just to, you know, draw all the time, do what you love. And, yeah... So much so, it's just become a habit for me, so... Uh, anyway, without further ado, I think I'd like to finish up here on part four. I think I might show some more in the future, but, you know, I'll talk about that after I show these. So, yeah, I did this when I was, uh, 15, I think. Well, <laughs> I already said that, but, yeah. You know, just something I, uh, wanted to do on a, you know... I was very bored one day, and, uh, and this is supposed to be part of the, uh, sort of that Fragonard exhibit thing, you know, where they have dead bodies on display, and they're, you know, I think it is based on one of them, of the guy holding up the bone of a donkey, jawbone of a donkey, his organs are showing and everything, it's pretty cool. I did that when I was, uh, 16 or 15, I think. Or, yeah. Uh, I think this is the first time I ever, well, in a long time I've used <laughs> color pencil badly. His arm's on fire there. Just, uh, I guess that was when I was practicing a few things. Uh, these are just a bunch of sketches I never did. Like, guy gas mask with chainsaw, Phantasm 2. And, uh, zombie montage I never did. Uh, I think I did this when I was 14. My, uh, Burton obsession really existed. Even way back then. Uh, this was pretty good for my age, actually. And, uh, this too. I don't really like the design of that. I probably won't finish it. This is for something else. This could be a dead guy with a shovel. Early attempt of Michael Myers. His head's too small. And, uh, I think it was supposed to be a cartoonish drawing of my girlfriend. Well, this never materialized. Early, <laughs> I guess, uh, sort of goth version of Leatherface. <laughs> Pretty bad. And, oh, I like this a lot. This was a bag of body parts. You know, sort of has like a saw for a hand, and you see a brain and a spine coming out. And it's to be in pain. And I like this one a lot. I did this when I was, uh, I guess, 15 as well. Probably one of the best out of the bunch of these. So, uh,
Yeah, I guess that concludes part four. Uh, soon I might, uh, you know, <clears throat> dig even further into my older drawings and things and might do a, well, I guess I might show my DVD collection soon, so there's uh, something to look forward to. Uh, you know, Halloween around the corner and everything, I just might want to do some stuff before then. So, stay tuned.